Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I've got a tutorial for one of my favorite springtime looks, so let's jump right in. Okie dokie, first things first. After washing my face, I'm going to pull up all of my hair and get that out of my way so I don't get any makeup on it. I'm starting off with e.l.f.'s Poreless Face Primer. And I've got gigantic pores on my face, so I just like to make sure I spend the time distributing the product. Next, I'm using my Bayer Minerals Concealer in Tan 2, and I'm just using a concealer brush and putting that all over my acne scars and any blemishes I need to get covered up. I'm applying a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes because today I have some dark circles. Now I'm using a damp beauty blender and blending my foundation a little bit more to create an even surface for my foundation. For foundation today, I chose Mary Kay's Mineral Powder Foundation in Beige 1, and then I just used my favorite powder foundation brush to apply the makeup all over my face. I do apply foundation to places like my ears and my neck just to make sure everything is an equal tone. For some light contouring, I'm using the Master Contour Palette by Maybelline in medium to deep and I'm just applying a little bit of bronzer underneath my cheekbones, underneath my jawline, and on my forehead. Now I'm using my favorite Kabuki brush to blend everything together so it doesn't look like I have these brown streaks across my face. And now I'm just applying my favorite mineral cheek color by Mary Kay in Cinnamon Stick. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm using the Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate by Anastasia Beverly Hills. To apply the pomade, I'm using an angled brush and going in the direction that my hair is growing naturally. I tend to be a bit heavy-handed when I begin to apply any product to my eyebrows, so I like to start in the outer corner and then work my way towards the center of my face. Next, I'm using a thinner angled brush to clean up the outlines of my eyebrows. And to clean up my eyebrows even more, I'm applying concealer ever so close to the edges of my eyebrows and blending it in. To set everything in place, I'm using the HD Finishing Powder by NYX. To bring back a little bit of color to my face, I'm using my Bare Minerals Bronzer in the High Dive. Before I apply eyeshadow, I like to apply eyeshadow primer. This one's from e.l.f. For eyeshadow, I'm using my Sephora Ombre Obsession Eyeshadow Palette, and I decided to use this golden coppery color. I'm just applying the shadow to my eyelids and then winging out the corners. For a simple cat eye, I'm using Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner by Maybelline in black.
For mascara, I'm using Buxom's Waterproof Lash Mascara in Blackest Black and just applying that to my lashes. And for my lips, I'm using Stila's All Day Stay Liquid Lipstick in Aria. It's always a good idea to exfoliate your lips before you apply this lipstick because even though it goes on as a liquid, it dries matte. And last but not least, I use my Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray with Oil Control to finish my look. There you have it, one of my favorite springtime makeup looks. I hope you liked it, and thanks for watching.